Good morning, Portugal. I am struggling oh, because it's raining. It's okay. I am in my 20th century, guys. And it feels good. It feels. I did not expect it to be raining, but it feels really good. So I'm headed to my free walking tour. I got here at uh, midnight, after midnight. No, I got here around 11.30. Yes, y'all, so I didn't realize that Portugal was one hour behind Spain. So I thought my flight was a, was 35 minutes and it's really an hour. It was really an hour and 35 minutes. So now I'm off to this tour. Ah! I was kind of hoping for sunny and 70, not rainy and 60, but you know, you make it do what it do. I packed appropriately. I need that rain. I need that waterproof thing for my case. Oh, well, y'all can see me, dude. But yeah, y'all, Portugal is beautiful. Very cute, so cute. Quaint. Oh, Portugal. So, huh, stopping here to do a little check. I look crazy. I literally walked out, I was like, oh, it's raining. Cute. But the good thing is, it's not supposed to rain all day. So maybe I can, uh, for the supermarket, do more regular stuff because I'm gonna be here for about four days, so I'm saving money. I'm only gonna go out to eat once. So I'll see you guys on the tour. This is that's the cathedral, and over there is Gaia. It's another city. And over there, yes, is where the cellars are. That's where you do the tours for the port wine. Y'all, I'm crying. I'm not actually crying. Oh, the wind. Wow, okay. More city stuff, y'all. Tired. No. I would say that even if you're not tired, your legs are now feeling the reason why this is why this is going to And I'm pretty sure you want more markets. Now it's sunny in Portugal, in Oporto. The rain is gone, and I am happy. Headed to the river. This is the shopping district of Oporto. Collection of shops. Pharmacy, you gotta have a, this is Europe. There are pharmacies everywhere. This place is super famous and then the, the library, the Levera, Levera Levelo, I think. And the line was down around the corner. I won't be going to see it. <laughs> Rolex, you know we're in the shopping district. You got a Rolex store. This is cute. Oh, there's the Coliseum. Coliseum is a hotel. And here is the Coliseum. Yes, it's a theater of some sorts. Oh, there's a lot of flaws. This is a sardine museum. They sell so many different types of sardines. And then on the year, each one is a year, and you can see. This is the year I was born, and the sheep dolly was born, making becoming the first cloned animal, mammal. And Prince Harry was born in 1984. Amy Winehouse and Mila Kunis were born in 1983. The first computer virus brain appeared in 1986 and a whole bunch of other. A lot of cool things happen, y'all. Just know that. So cool. This is so cool. Eat 
eating of fast food, but this is supposed to be the nicest McDonald's in the world. Chandeliers. We can look at the menu too. Got gluten free. Let's see, they got gluten free. Salads. It's a dollar thirty. A dollar year a year one year thirty cents. They have gluten free cheeseburger. I think nice. Yeah. What else? It's inclusive. <laughs> Euro saver. Let's we're on a budget. Yeah. Not gluten free. Small fries, two apple pies. Apple pies. Destiny is shaky. This would never happen in America. No. <laughs> in America, McDonald's is not this nice. I am beware. Make veggie. Guys, I will end the line to go to on the bus to get to the Palacio de Pena, which is like basically the most important palace. And I honestly feel like it's worse. Look at this line. And it's behind me too. I, you know, I was avoiding all the queues. It's April, it's not high tourist season yet. And I did read about this online. So if you come in the summer, because you, they say don't drive in the that because the city is not made for driving, which is clear from the cobblestone. And then, and then after that, you, it's a really hard hike to get from the Cinta train station. Go straight. Pues, está lleno, creo. I don't know, y'all. This is like, I don't hate it. I'll let y'all know when I get there. Okay, now I said, I'll see you guys at the top. The top came quicker. Barang. Boom. I'm going up. <coughs> okay. BRB. Here's the palace, guys. And the long gas line. The views are nice. Okay, guys, so. That line to see the palaces is so long that I will be here for the entire two hours. So, I've decided to see the terrace. I'm going to show you guys the terrace. And then, if there's time left, I'll see the palace. Now, it is worth seeing but those lines. So I'm just gonna go back <laughs> when I finish exploring and hope that uh, somebody done, that the people that I was sitting with, that they got my, um, they held my spot. Cause this, this is gonna be weird. I wonder what else this Let's see. Where? Look at these, this damn line. Greetings from Lizabella, I'm back. Okay guys, so I actually got on a different train to come back. So I finished around two, I definitely think you need more time in a place like Sinta. I was there from 11 to two, but what do you do when you got 24 hours in Lisbon? You gotta spend some time in Sinta and more time in Lisbon. <laughs> um, 
So I just got here. So I, I just got on the first train. I'm sorry, I just saw a couple making out on the wall. They're like 50 years old posted up. How cute, can't relate. Anyways, so yeah, so the train that I got on coming back is just a different one. I can get on any of them because I have a day pass, a 24 hour day pass, which I think is worth it. But um, it smells like piss right here, yikes. sometimes so um i just got on the first train and actually originally if i were to go back to if i was to have gone back to the um the other train station i would have had to get on the metro which would have been nice you know i'm getting my money's worth for the day pass but i got on this other train and i'm a 12 minutes walk away from where my toy starts but i still have about an hour my phone's dead so that's not cute um, but the sun is shining on me. So I'm trying to. Uh, it's so many, but so much black people. Uh, so many black people. Grandma correct. And I love it. The melody. Uh, yeah. I love Chelsea. Everything. I got on this turtleneck. Y'all don't see me wear this so many times. I promise I've watched it. But it's just because I don't, personally, I don't like wearing coats and jackets. So if I, if, if it's gonna be 65 degrees, that means it's gonna be cold in the morning, it's gonna get cold at night. So I don't have to wear a coat. And then during the day, I'm gonna be a little hot. Just a little bit, a little toasty. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, and that'll be fine. You know, the balance, the good with the bad. No. Oh, this is very expensive. This is touristy. Don't fall for the tourist trips. Um, yeah. So, yeah. That's why I'm always, well, not always, but you see me. Oh, look, it's another sardine shop. <laughs> this is the second one. We got one in Oporto. These balls. Looking like El Porto. This school, this square looks exactly like El Porto, except for it doesn't have the big, it doesn't have the big clock. Okay. A friend who's from Lisbon, she told me to go to this place. It's like, oh. I don't think I can make it to go see it. So I should probably get it here. Just right now. Let's see how it is. Oh, well. Wow. Mm. It tastes like a, um, I don't know. Mm. It's good, though. I'm going to get a shot of cafe, too. Con azúcar. Look at me. Okay. Oh, granul granulated sugar. I need some of this. No, no. Okay. Is the tea I've listed? Very nice. Similar to Porto, but not really. And the tour guide keeps picking on me. I'm getting the trivia right though. Oh! Building because they have a really nice, very a really nice view to Alfama. Uh, 
nice viewpoint. It's not only top of a hill looking down. And from here we can see how, uh, the city you cannot get long ago. You can Alfama. Now, now we already have a lot of years, but now if you, if you own a building in a historical area. Koji Square and we're by the water. Huh? Can I have a picture here? Of course. Square. Maybe you... Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I'm not waiting downtown. Walking. Ready? Yeah. Being. Yeah. Okay. okay. There you go. Let's see. Maybe, yeah, so you're like in the middle of that. Okay. This is gorgeous. You got your GoPro out. I'm like vlogging. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me know if you like them, because I can always take more. I'm a... Oh, I'm so cute. You're yeah. <laughs> She said I'm so cute. That's funny. Look at the water, people. Can you see it? I hope you guys can see That's the water all the way down there. It's the water. It's absolutely gorgeous. Another side of London. I mean, London. Lisboa. <laughs> they... I just love it. So much to see. So diverse. So amazing. So I love the fact that I'll never be able to see everything. That's what you want in a city. You want to feel like you you left some stones unturned. Not too many, but incredible 24 hours. Some cool. Y'all know I love my art. Okay. Yeah, I'm not trying to get okay, guys. I hope you've enjoyed Lisbon as much as I have. My phone is dying. My phone. My camera is dying. My GoPro is dead, basically. So, this will conclude this vlog. I'm gonna maybe try and vlog like my food, but I have dinner reservations, so you guys can like see what typical Portuguese food looks like. I'm really excited because y'all know I love me some food, but if not. Just know that Lisbon was amazing and my 24 hours here was phenomenal and I definitely have to come back. Um, and so I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I learned, loved living it. I think. So we'll see you on the next journey, wherever the world blows me towards. Peace.